this is the making of the rose mirror candle sconce the whole thing consists of a back plate and a six mil round bar a rod that connects 18 leaves or petals to the back plate I started off uh, making a, an aesthetically pleasing shape out of just a piece of cardboard and some scissors and then used that template to create the an outline in chalk which I then cut out using what is known as a, a plasma cutter um, this particular sheet is steel but if I reach my goal, I'll be able to uh, buy some sheets of stainless steel, which is considerably more expensive. But uh, if I can use the whole sheet up, then it means I can I can afford it. Um, now, what I'm doing here is gradually using finer and finer sanding discs on a grinder to eventually end up with a a completely mirror finish on the on the sheet of steel uh, exactly the same process for for the stainless sheet now what I'm doing is cutting out the petals I do these by cutting out six um, of three to make the 18 um, Once I've cut them out, I take them over to the pillar drill, drill a little hole in the centre of each one that fits over the bit of round bar that I'm now forging to a point. It's a very fine point. Incidentally, uh, whilst I'm talking about it, the best way to fit a candle onto this point, make sure the candle doesn't split on you is to make sure that it's warm by putting the base of the candle in some hot water or putting it on a radiator for half an hour or so and it will slide onto this point I'm now bending it into what's called an OG arch basically a, like a flat S shape Once that's done, I uh, weld all the sheets of steel making up the rows onto the 6mm round bar. And then, using oxyacetylene, which is obviously a mixture of oxygen and acetylene, I heat up the individual leaves and petals until they're red hot, almost yellow hot actually, so you get a very nice even natural looking bend in each sheet of steel. This takes some doing, but uh, I've got hang right now after several years of doing them. <laughs> um, now, I'm working around in a spiral shape, gradually doing all 18. Yeah, I tend to heat up the outside edges of the leaves. That creates enough flex to mean I end up with a sort of rolled tongue look on some of the leaves, which if you look at a a real rose leaf that's, that's what they tend to do I've also left enough space in the middle of the rose to put the candle in now I'm just putting the rose very carefully onto the back plate there's a piece of cardboard there that creates a, a gap between the rose and the back plate and also protects the back plate from the the weld spatter using the um, when I'm using the MIG welder, which is a very, very hot indeed uh, weld, so it's instant. 
There we are. Thank you.